Charterman, Charterman, Brian. Charterman, 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 Brian. Greedy comics, twins are hella sick. Hell whacking it. Take a bad hit. Take a bad hit. Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another throwback Thursday action figure review on the Marvel Collector Edition's 30th Anniversary Series Silver Surfer Nova figure. I gotta give a big thanks to Josh for making this review possible. He sent over a box full of figures from the 90s. Thank you so much, man. This figure right here is made from Toy Biz, and this is Nova the Herald, not to be confused with Nova from the Nova Core. So this is a very cool looking figure, the only six inch scale-ish figure that we have of this Nova, and she has articulated hair, which it says right over here. Uh, this packaging is kind of crazy though. I need a Tamashi stand right here to hold that up or else it just falls over. So it's got this really interesting egg shape. And on the back right over here, whoop, there it goes. You can see that it shows how to display the base and everything with the hair. And then there's a read up on Nova. So if you want to learn about the character, go ahead and read and pause that now. And then you can see the other figures that came from the way, including Better Ray Bill and Megan Alien and Silver Surfer. All right, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's Frankie Ray Nova out of the packaging. Decent figure. I mean, it's an older 90s Toy Biz figure, so as far as articulation goes, it's pretty basic. You definitely get a lot more than your simple five points of articulation, so it's not absolutely terrible. And I think the size of her is actually pretty good, so we'll see some size comparisons later on. Now, my understanding of the character is that she became a hero of the Galactus to protect Earth, and she had originally gotten her flame powers from the android Human Torch, and she's also the girlfriend of the Fantastic Four Human Torch. And then when she decided to become a herald for Galactus, then her powers were enhanced. So she has a ton of flaming powers and everything like that. And a very attractive looking character too. Like this whole body just in gold. I don't know. I just think it's very appealing. Like see this picture right here? Damn, I like it. Now looking at her little flame base, it looks like just a regular orange color with the lighting. But if I turn things down, you can see that it actually has more of like a neon orange kind of look to it. Looking through the viewfinder, this is actually a little bit more what it looks like in person. It has this neon kind of glow and I like it. It's semi-translucent plastic. It's very rubbery over here. Then you use this tail end of her hair flame and then you just put that in right there to get her on the base, you know, so that's pretty neat. I'm looking at the rest of her hair over here, I like this. It looks really cool. Again, I have to darken this up. This is actually a little bit more what it looks like in person, but it's a translucent plastic over here, so I like it. And we'll go over the articulation later on. Now looking at the head sculpt over here, I do feel like her forehead is a bit on the long side, especially when you look around right over there does look a bit large, but other than that, it does look all right. And you get this gold vac metal throughout the entire figure. And looking right up here, you can see the larger part of the flamio hair, so it looks pretty nice. And then I just like how she's just covered in all gold. Now this vac metal does chip a little bit as you move the joints around, but it's pretty good vac metal. I mean, it's very, very reflectant. I think that looks great. I like the choice of having brown right there on those joints. It blends in all right. Now there are parts around the figure that do have these little blemishes over here. It still has that chromey finish, but it looks Looks like it may have been from the mold or something. Then you get this hand sculpted really wide over here. Same thing on this side. The way this is sculpted, it's just a little bit weird how one hand's facing this way and then the other one's facing inward, but they basically have the same pose. Then you get the legs right here. You can see her belly button and everything. I think the musculature looks pretty good. There's actually no belly button. That's just a reflection. Yeah, so it's very, very reflective. I hope one day we get a Marvel Legend like this. That would be just so awesome. She does have peg holes at the bottom of her feet over here, but I think sculpt-wise, I think this looks really good. Just having this is pretty awesome. And then looking right over here, you do get this hole right here for a screw, and she does like getting screwed. And you can see how the flame actually even reflects on the figure, which is actually kind of a neat effect. When you start posing her around, you start seeing the reflection of this flame hair over here, which is really neat. You can see it right there a little bit. I think it's pretty cool. Now for Frankie's articulation, you can rotate the hair piece right over here up at the top. You can rotate this section right here as well. You can rotate this piece over here. And then you also get a hinge joint right there. So you get a decent amount of movement over here and I think that's pretty cool. And then you also get head articulation where it can turn side to side. Kind of moves at an angle a little bit. I like that. Uh, she can move her shoulders outward. You can move them forward. She bends at the elbow only that much. I'm not trying to push it more than that. And then on this side over here, you could bend the elbow up, but the wrist is just facing the other direction. So you could see you have those two options right there. And then you don't get any waist articulation or anything. The legs do swivel and they do get loose, but she still stands on her own pretty well, even though she has this big heavy piece right over here. Or it's not too heavy. It's pretty hollow, but it's still quite massive. Anyway, she bends at the knee, then her ankles move down and 
up. Now this figure does stand pretty tall. I guess to the top of her forehead over there, it's just a little under seven inches. To the top of the flame, it's like eight and a half. Then for size comparison, here's Nova compared to two other heralds that I have in my collection. We have the Marvel Legends Toy Biz Silver Surfer, and we have the Hasbro Marvel Legends Terax Build-A-Figure. And then here's Nova next to the Marvel Legends Moonstone figure, and you can see they stand at about the same height. Frankie is still a bit taller, even at the shoulders over here, but yeah, I'd still rather have this mold be used for a Marvel Legends Nova than over anything else. And then here she is next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Hey, baby, you are hot! Ah, see what I did there? Two meanings, one word. Ooh, ah, that even stung a little bit. Oh, oh my god, oh my god! Now the copyright on the packaging said 1997, so this is just before Marvel Legends got started, about five years before, and I think this is actually a pretty cool figure. I've actually wanted it for quite some time now. I'm very happy that it fits into Marvel Legends scale. I think it was Lou Thug who I saw had this on display in his Cosmic Beings shelf a long time ago. Uh, remind me if you old school cats know. But anyway, I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit the like button, click any of these boxes over here for more shark in your face. Your Patreons, your help is much appreciated. If you want to be one, click below. Then also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and go to MarvelousNews.com for a photo gallery of images from this review. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. That's crispy. Well, I don't know if I...